Start by plugging an HDMI to mini HDMI cable into a TV or monitor. In this example, the cable has already been plugged into the monitor. With the Pi Boy off, plug the mini HDMI connector into the HDMI out port on the Pi Boy. Now turn the Pi Boy on. The first thing you'll see is the Pi Boy's splash screen. This will be followed by booting into RetroPi. Once you've fully booted into RetroPi, you can move on to the next step. Next, plug a controller into the Pi Boy. In this case, we're using a wired USB gamepad. The USB port you plug into determines the player number in RetroPie. In a moment, we'll show a diagram linking ports to player numbers. This diagram shows the mapping between USB ports and player numbers in RetroPie. Plug a controller into port 1 to assign it to player 1, port 2 for player 2, and so forth. Next, we need to map the inputs for the connected controller. From the RetroPie menu, select a system, and then press Start. Select the Configure Input option, and then press A. Hold down a button to begin the configuration. For each option, press the respective button. If you get to a button that isn't available on your gamepad, hold down an already mapped button to skip past the option. We recommend setting the hotkey to select. Once you've reached the OK prompt, press A. Now that the controller has been mapped, the setup is complete and you're now ready to use your Pi Boy DMG as a console. For more help and information about the Pi Boy DMG, see the tutorial section of our website.